Today we are talking gifts. I have compiled a list of over a hundred ideas ranging from kitchen stuff, clothes, outdoor stuff, games and activities. Keep in mind that this is coming from the perspective of a woman in her mid-twenties, so maybe this is not the best list for your teenage brother, but you never know. Starting with kitchen items, the Fellow Mug. This is a travel mug that can keep drinks hot. This mug is great. I got a set in my wedding registry and my husband and I have used them every day since then. There's also this stainless steel um, splash guard that you can stick in the top so that if you have the lid off and you like slosh it around, the liquid doesn't go everywhere, which is really nice. For water bottles, I have a few here that I really like. One of them is the Sunny Studios water bottle. This one comes in a lot of fun colors and it's kind of a little bit different than your average water bottle. They sell the round cap, the bottle, and then the little like strap handle separately so you can really customize whatever colors you like. Another great water bottle I love that is glass, which is nice, is the Bank Day bottle. And I have the lounge lid, I think it's called, but it's like the silicone lid with the straw. And I love this for being around the house. You don't have to like pick up this heavy glass water bottle and drink out of it. You can just keep it upright and suck from the straw. But they also have a twisty lid cap that you can just throw it in your bag. I think mugs are a really common gift, but no one ever talks about diner mugs. I recently became obsessed with diner mugs. There's one at my work. We have like a bunch of mis mis mix matched mismatched mismatched mugs and i always go for the diner one if it's clean it's thick it's heavy the part that you like put your mouth to is thick it just feels like sturdy i feel like it keeps the drink warmer get someone a set of diner mugs you can't go wrong another cup idea is to get someone ceramic cups um studio r hodge i think i don't know how to say it has really beautiful cups and you could use these for hot or cold probably. I like that they don't have a handle, but the glaze options they have are gorgeous. Something I use at least three times a week is this made in cast iron Dutch oven. I have it in this white color and honestly, you'd think the outside would get dirty and you wouldn't be able to clean it, but I've kept it spotless for over a year and I like throw it in the oven and it gets some pretty heavy wear and tear. So this thing is really sturdy. I highly recommend this. Dansk also makes a really nice looking Dutch oven or whatever they call it, casserole pot. Um, I like the handle design on this and it's really gorgeous to look at as well as probably very functional. Good for someone who cooks a lot. Also, something that I probably wouldn't just like go buy for myself are these glass weck jars. I've seen people use these as cups for ice drinks, but they're also great storage options if you want something that's not plastic. Another thing you could get someone, which I don't have and I don't know why because I cook a lot and I eat butter a lot, but like a nice butter dish. Again, this is something that you don't probably buy for yourself or like think to get a nice one of, you know? Another gift in this vein is to get a cute ceramic soy sauce pot. If you know someone who consumes a lot of soy sauce and you could like package it with a nice bottle of actual soy sauce, I feel like that's a cute idea. If you're gifting someone that drinks a lot of coffee, this Gemini espresso maker is a great idea. It is kind of like a Italian mocha pot where you put the coffee in the little cup and then fill the bottom with water and it like percolates through the top. My husband has this and he uses it all the time. For any tea drinkers out there, you need to gift them a wooden tea box. I got this last year for Christmas and I am obsessed with it. My kitchen's right over there and it's sitting on the counter. It looks so nice. I drink a ton of tea and it's so satisfying. It has a little magnetic lid and you can like feel like you're at a fancy restaurant opening the lid and like selecting your tea. And if you gift this, you might as well fill it with the person's favorite teas so that they're well stocked. Also salt and pepper mills, get a nice wood pair, get a nice glossy pop of color set that you can leave on your counter and looks nice. I feel like this would be good for moms and grandmas, but I'm not trying to discriminate. If you cook, that's cool. Oven mitts are something that usually people have and they're just gross. They have linen ones, there's patterned ones, 
These could be used as trivets as well. It's just a nice gift that someone wouldn't really go out of their way to buy. Also, a really nice sturdy wooden cutting board is always a good gift idea. Another idea that you might not have thought of, but a bunch of places sell these kits or you could also make them yourself, but um, if you are gifting someone and they have a favorite food or a favorite recipe, if you make them like a kit with all of the ingredients, but like nicer, for example, you could do like a pizza making kit. This one has like a nice olive oil and a nice sauce. One year for Christmas, my mom made my grandpa an old fashioned kit and kind of like packaged it all up in a cute box with all of the ingredients. You can't really go wrong with this. I feel like people usually love it. Lastly, in the kitchen category are these ceramic berry boxes or like colander things. I have these, I love them, but I don't use them as colanders. I actually use them to store fruit in the fridge. You can pile like apples, lemons. I've used it to throw like little baby bell cheeses to keep them all together, but either way, it looks nice in your fridge and helps keep things organized. I feel like it's a nice gift. Jumping around, we are gonna go into loungewear. I separated this from the clothing and accessories category because it's all things you would wear to lounge and not like actual clothes. Um, first thing is the Deuce and Deuce and striped bathrobe. You might have seen this out there. I got this from my friend last year for Christmas. It's so thick and good. I love it. I love putting it on when I come out of the shower in the winter especially. But there's like a striped color combination for literally everybody. They have anything you can think of. Another idea is a linen pajama set. And I put this on here because I was like, what would I like to receive as a gift? Literally all of my pajamas are just old t-shirts from years ago from different like events and things I was a part of in high school. And I'm an adult now. Maybe I need a linen PJ set. And maybe someone in your life does too. Another thing you might not think of, which uh, this is like my number one gift on here. You don't have to be a dancer, but if you do know an ex-dancer, this might mean a little bit more to them. These block warm-up booties I wear around the house as slippers. I used to dance and I had these and I just remember the sole was super squishy. So I thought I could buy them because our house gets really cold in the winter and wear them as slippers, which I have been doing 10 out of 10. If you're thinking about buying someone a traditional slipper, maybe rethink and get them these. Also, Repetto has a version of these. I've never tried these, but they do look a little bit cuter. So just wanted to throw that in there. These North Face Thermal Ball, Thermo Ball Mules are kind of like slippers. The sole of them is like a hard rubber, so you can wear them outdoors. My husband wears his as slippers in the house and to like work on house projects and stuff. They're kind of like a no fuss shoe and outside in the winter, they're really warm. Another idea are the Bombas Gripper slippers. I gave these to my grandma last year and she loved them. They're definitely more of like a sock slipper because there's no hard sole on the bottom, but they're fuzzy and warm and soft and they have a ton of different color options. In general, I think anything from Bombas is a great gift, especially their socks because they're a little more pricey. I don't think I would buy them just for like my everyday sock, but I have received them as gifts before and I love them. They're such good quality. They wash really well, highly recommend. If you wanna get fancy with it, you could gift a wool slipper. These Roma slippers come in some really cool pattern and color options. They're a little pricier, but they're probably gonna last your entire life. Another wool slipper option is Halflinger. They have these really cute slippers that have different animals and like cute things on them. But again, these probably would last whoever you're gifting years. Moving on to clothing and accessories that someone could wear out of the house. I've always wanted to gift a personalized baseball hat. There's a bunch of websites where you can create your own design or upload your own design or graphic or whatever, and they'll embroider it on a baseball hat. I wear a lot of baseball hats, but I feel like maybe for like a brother or a dad, you could get them some kind of custom embroidered hat that has meaning between you guys, shared meaning or something they like. Another gift where you can't go wrong is a wallet. I feel like this is a really common, maybe overdone gift for men, but I feel like women aren't gifted wallets as frequently. This one from Portland Leather is a mini wallet where you could just keep a few cards or cash or something and throw it in your bag. Um, this one from Madewell I got for Christmas from my dad last year. It's still in really great shape and it has a lot of storage. So I really like this one. The Bagu reusable bag is 
my go-to for grocery shopping. They are like virtually indestructible and washable and compactable and are great for literally anybody. You also can't go wrong gifting a leather tote bag. I think opting for a more neutral color and a more like basic shape is the way to go because a lot of times like bags are pretty specific to the person and you don't want to get something that's too stylized and like maybe there's a chance they won't like it. So just like a basic rectangular high quality leather tote is a great gift. These next three ideas are something that everyone probably has, but they're maybe not the nicest. So I think gifting someone cashmere gloves or a cashmere scarf or a cashmere sweater is a great way to give them something that's like higher quality and gonna last them longer and kind of upgrade a piece that they already have and they can get rid of like the old crusty gloves from years ago. And it's always nice to receive something that's more of a luxury item. Moving into jewelry, I have a few jewelry brands that I wanted to share with you because I think they make really nice pieces and I'll put some specific pieces on the screen, but feel free to dig into these. The first one is Ames Lizzie. All of the pieces here are so gorgeous. They have kind of like an organic feel to them. The stone choices are really nice. I feel like a lot of these pieces could also be unisex. Definitely check this studio out if you're looking to gift jewelry. The next one is Wolf Circus. I have a ring and I think a necklace from them and they've lasted and stood the test of time. But specifically, they have these alphabet charm necklaces in both gold and silver. This is a really good gift idea because you could choose the person's initial, kind of fun. They just have really great design kind of jewelry also arguably not if you have a dog in your life maybe it's your dog someone else's dog you just love them this heirloom pet tag from july rose jewelry is the sweetest gift idea your pet's tag is not going to be like a thing it's probably just going to be something you got printed at like the pet store but i don't know i just think it's cute they also have a necklace version that you could gift someone with their name on it or whatever next is dunton ellercamp they're another jewelry company that just has really like unique pieces and uses good materials and their design sense is amazing. And lastly in the jewelry category is Catbird. I feel like they're a little more common, but um, they have more fine jewelry. Um, some of their stuff is super expensive, but I do have their sig Signet ring and silver with an E initialed on it. I think it'd be a great gift. I love mine. Moving on to the next category, we have games and activities. First thing, these vintage bookshelf games, I think are an amazing gift idea because anyone would love these. It takes your regular board game and gives you the ability to display it on a bookshelf or something. I have a set of three of these and they're actually really good quality. Um, so I highly recommend those. If you know a board game lover, you need to get them the Art Society board game. I played this the other night with my family and I haven't enjoyed playing a board game for the first time as much as I did with this game. This was a really fun game and it was like well made. Like the, the cardboard was like sturdy and there was like embossed printing. Very nice game, very fun. Another one of my favorite games that could be for any age is Bananagrams. This is basically like free-for-all Scrabble. I'm definitely a game person, so trust my advice. I only picked three games to put on here, so they're good, I'm telling you, trust me. The last one is Quix. This is more of like quick math, but it's a German dice game. It's really fun to play with two people. I feel like not a lot of games are, but that's a really fun one. If you know someone who's into puzzles, you could gift them a Le Puz puzzle. This is a company that makes really fun unique puzzles that are a little more visually interesting than your average puzzle. They have like food ones, different kinds of objects and like scenes and stuff. They're just a really cool company. You could also give someone a nice, interestingly designed set of playing cards. This one is really cool. It's highlighting like women designers, but there are a ton out there where it's not just your like regular deck. Another good gift idea for any age is a coffee table book. Depending on the book you get, obviously, it could be completely catered to the person's interest, whether it's art and design, home, cooking, architecture, cars, um, travel, anything like that. It's something that they can read and flip through and learn something 
but also they can display it and use it as decoration in their home. Specifically, cookbooks are a really good idea if you know the person's into cooking. Also, if you know someone who's really into art, just giving them whatever medium they use, but like the nicest version of it, whether it's a really nice set of watercolor paints or like Copic markers, because they probably are going through a lot of supplies and it's always nice to get a really nice new fresh set. Next category is travel and outdoor. There's also some camping stuff in here. First thing is the CalPak packing cube set. It doesn't specifically need to be the CalPak ones, but I can vouch for them because I have them and I've used them for a while and they're really good quality. And the size options they give you, I feel like are always exactly the right amount for what I'm packing. Also a nice toiletry or makeup bag, specifically that hangs. When you're traveling, the worst thing is when you're in a hotel and there's like no counter space in the bathroom and your bag's like falling into the sink or I don't know, even like when I've gone camping and I try to get ready with like the car door open, I always wish I had a toiletry bag that just hangs because then everything's contained. There's even sometimes a little mirror. So I think this is a really good gift idea. A jewelry holder is another good idea because I've packed jewelry before where it's in like a Ziploc bag or something and I get to my destination and it's a ball of tangled chains and it's miserable to untangle everything. I didn't put any luggage on here because I feel like everyone has a different price point for that, but something that I think is really worth it is the Patagonia Black Hole Duffel. Not only because it's really high quality, but they also do this like warranty program where you can send your stuff in and they'll either repair it, I'm pretty sure, or you can get a replacement. So it's kind of like a really good lifetime investment for someone. You could take it camping, you could use it as a carry-on. My husband and I camp a lot and we have this camp stove by Eureka and we love it. You just need to buy those mini propane tanks and you kind of screw it onto the side, but this is even nice to use if you just cook outside or like at a park or something. Another great gift that I actually want for Christmas is foldable camp chairs, but specifically the hammock ones where you can like kind of recline in them. Gifting someone a really nice sturdy hammock foldable chair is a really versatile gift. You could gift someone a hammock. They have the ones that like collapse into this little pouch and you can take them anywhere. You could gift a nice pair of leather work or gardening gloves. I feel like leather is a better option than some of the cheaper fabric ones, especially if you have a hardworking man or woman in your life. This one's kind of a wild card and I would love if someone gave this to me because I never would buy it otherwise, but they have these bird feeders that have kind of a little ring camera looking thing in them so that when birds come and eat the feed you can see them i really want this i love bird watching we get a lot of blue jays in our yard and couldn't hurt to see an up close video of them eating food <laughs> i threw this next one in here because i got it as a gift and i never thought i needed it but a nice durable umbrella that isn't gonna just get blown away with the wind i'm talking like you click the button and it just like like snaps, like it means business. My dad gave me one a few years ago and it's still going strong. I can't even tell you the amount of umbrellas I've had to throw out because they just break and they're normally really cheap. I think it's a good idea, maybe you don't, but. Lastly in this category is a toolkit set. This is good for someone who's just like starting out in the real world. Maybe they just got an apartment or bought a house and maybe they have a screwdriver and a measuring tape, but not an entire set of tools. So getting something like this that's like very comprehensive is a really good gift idea because it's kind of everything in one. You know all the tools are going to fit in there and it also looks nice. Next category is home items. You can't go wrong gifting sheet sets, specifically higher quality sheet sets. I really want a flannel sheet set this year because again our house gets cold and I feel like it'd be nice. Also linen sheets are my favorite in the summer. I would stick to gifting natural fibers. I hate those polyester like microfiber-y plasticky feeling sheets. It's like gross to me. Gift someone a linen sheet set. Another one inspired by a gift I've received in the past is throw pillows. My friend got us a set of two white throw pillows last year and they're still on our couch. We love them. Gifting a set of two linen throw pillows. Maybe you get linen pillow covers from somewhere and then something nice like a down insert and then you kind of like bundle them together and wrap it with a ribbon. It would be fun because then the person can put it on their bed, they can put them in their living room, in the basement, 
whatever. I think a really nice heirloom quality quilt is a great idea. Schoolhouse has some adorable quilts. There are so many quilts in my family that I swear I've seen since I came out of the womb. Like they've just been around and you can't get rid of them. Maybe this is more for someone who's younger, but an heirloom quilt, I would love to receive it. You should gift it. I feel like candles are a common thing to say in gift guides, but I've gotten candles before. And again, it's like such a specific thing where maybe I'm not into like cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice candles, maybe someone is, but the, the different kinds of scents are so specific to each person. But I think beeswax candles are a really great middle ground because it's still a candle. They have a really light, like honey scent, not very strong at all. And they're natural. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, like me, or you just don't like your house smelling like vanilla cupcakes, beeswax candles are a great gift idea. You could give someone a cordless table lamp. There are these like mushroomy shaped ones that I think would be great for someone in a dorm room, you know, to throw on their desk. You could throw it in a kitchen where there's like not a convenient outlet, a bathroom, a coffee table, a dining table, I also have on here, which is kind of random, but I am asking for this for Christmas this year, an air purifier. We have an older home, so it's generally a lot dustier and I really want an air purifier, but they're expensive. So it could be a good gift if you know someone's kind of been wanting something like that. Thought it was worth including. It's more practical than it is exciting, but there it is. If you know someone that has a lot of plants in their house, you could give them an interesting, funky watering can. My husband and I, literally water our plants with like a Pyrex measuring cup, like the glass one. And it's fine, it gets the job done, but I think having a watering can that is also like more of an art piece and you can leave out is a good gift idea because you're not gonna probably buy it for yourself. Um, lastly for home, I have a sentimental framed photo. You could frame a photo of you and someone when you were little, um, you and your grandparents, a recent event, maybe a wedding, or you just had a baby, you know, a baby picture. It could be a concert ticket stub. It could be an invitation. It could be any kind of ephemera that's like meaningful to you and this person. But getting something framed is just a really cool gesture because it's sentimental. I think the person will value it a lot more than just a regular framed piece of art. Okay, next category is office, but I forgot to film it for some reason. I just want to quickly run through a few things. The Bagu puffy laptop sleeve is a great gift. They have a few size options and a bunch of different colors and patterns. You could do a mug warmer. This basically is like a mini hot plate that sits on your desk and keeps your mug warm if it's just a regular mug. I love the Magic trackpad and Magic keyboard from Apple. They're super great. And you could also give some nicer notebooks. I put a few of my favorites on the screen here, but they'll also be linked down below. Next category is experiences. One of my favorite gifts to receive is a gift card to a really nice restaurant. You could do like a date night little bundle with like the restaurant gift card and like a bottle of wine, something a little nicer. Another great gift idea is a candlelight concert ticket. This is where they set up like thousands of candles and there's a string quartet that plays music to different themes. I've been to a Taylor Swift one and I've been to a Vivaldi one, but they have like classic rock, they have Queen, they have Adele, they have Beyonce, they have Vivaldi, Tchaikovsky, and kind of something for everyone. It's definitely worth checking if they have these concerts in your area. I think it said they have over a hundred cities and they hire local musicians, which is cool. So this is a really great gift idea. Maybe bundle it with the, the fancy dinner. Can't go wrong with a spa gift card, facial massage. If someone gets their hair done a lot, hair salon gift card. That's like the one kind of gift card I wouldn't be mad if I got. Cause I'm not gonna just go get a facial, you know? Next, I put this under experiences because it's like kind of more abstract than just like an object, but you can gift people subscriptions. An example of this is this Jenny's Ice Cream Club or no, it's called Pint Club. You can gift someone a three month, six month or 12 month membership where each month the person will get four like unique ice cream flavors delivered to their door. There's also this company called Book of the Month where you can give someone a membership for again, three, six or 12 months. And I think it's where each month the person gets a book delivered to their door, whatever their book of the month is. You could also do like HelloFresh or those meal prep delivery services. 
Okay, lastly, I have stocking stuffers. So these I just wanted to include at the end because they're smaller, a little cheaper, maybe a little less exciting. The wet brush, specifically the travel size one, is like my holy grail beauty product. Is a hairbrush a beauty product? Probably not. I don't know what I did before the wet brush. And even the big one that gets stuck in my hair, but the little one, I my hair is like decently long and it like glides through my hair like butter. It doesn't pull, it doesn't tug. It's amazing, it's cheap. Another idea is stainless steel or glass straws. Personally, I'm scared of glass straws. Stainless steel ones are a good alternative. I didn't include a lot of skincare, hair care, body care stuff on here because it's super personal to the person. But the one item I swear by is the Tower 28 lip gloss. It's not sticky, it's like smooth and oily, lasts a long time and they have a clear one which I love using at night because you don't really need a lip color when you're getting into bed, but it's nice just to put on as like a lip mask. Highly recommend. You could give someone a bottle opener. There's some really nice ones out there. Maybe a gua sha, a nice hand cream. This one is kind of funny, but a tape measure. Okay, imagine someone sews or crochets or knits. I crochet and I'm always using this little mini tape measure, but it's like, silver and ugly and looks like you bought it at the hardware store. It can't hurt to give someone a cute little like nice looking tape measure. Also a nicer hair scrunchie, you know, a step above your regular hair tie. These satin ones from Slip are really nice for wearing at night because it doesn't crease your hair at all. And these Sonderhaus striped ones are very fun, very cute. Another good stocking stuffer, I actually use this a ton, is a fabric shaver. You can get them for pretty cheap on Amazon and they're really good on leggings if your leggings tend to pill a lot. Also, wool dryer balls are a great little stocking stuffer to throw in because they're pretty inexpensive and they're a great fragrance-free alternative to dryer sheets. I haven't used a dryer sheet in years because I love these wool dryer balls. Another cute stocking stuffer is a chopstick rest. This company makes the sweetest little ceramic, um, little vegetables and fish, and there's a little toast one, and you can rest your chopsticks on it. I feel like this is the cutest gift ever. You could also give these shower steamers. I feel like these are like bath bombs rebranded. Typically bath bombs are not comprised of like the most healthy ingredients. It's a lot of like glitter and fragrance, but these shower steamers, these ones specifically have natural ingredients and like essential oils, but you just chuck it in the bottom of your shower. And then as the water and the steam interacts with it, it like releases a nice essential oil aroma. I've used these before and they're actually really an amazing experience. So something you might not have thought of. Also super random, but this Specs brand Magnetic Putty, there are these little magnetic balls. I wouldn't give this to a kid because they could probably choke on it. They're like magnetic balls that obviously like stick to each other, but you can like morph it into different shapes and like play with it in your hand. Ever since I saw a video of these, I want to touch it so bad. A few things left, bear with me. A meaningful keychain. You could do something where you have like an inside joke with someone, get them a little keychain of that. They have these motel tag type keychains. You could get one that has the location of somewhere you and this person you're gifting something to traveled. Make it personal. It could be something that they like. Um, this little bird lemon squeezer for like drinks. You can put a little lemon wedge and just squeeze him and he spits out the lemon juice. Who wouldn't love to get that? Probably a man. Last on here, gift somebody in your life, maybe even yourself, heavy duty chip clips that are not gonna break after the first use. That's all I have to share with you. I hope this gives you some ideas. All the links will be in the description. I might have to put it in like a Google doc or something, but it will be there in whatever form it ends up taking. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I love you guys. See you later.